As long as I know where the water is, I will never run this. If I go around this area, I will know where to find water. It was there before I came here, and it was there a long time before me, and I think it was feeding all my old people in them days. Back then, we were more dependent on eating and drinking from the land. So we were taught, I was taught by my granny, where to find water, you know? And the old people then, in them times, had a lot of things to show us and tell us about. Water is the main source of everything. Well, water, you stay fresh all the time. Just like a, a little keeping place, there, you know? And I can show you where the well is and uh, where my house been and where my swing was. Done the old village before we moved up here in 1966. This is where our well used to be, right here. Well, he brings a lot of memories from me from, from way back in the 50s and 60s. I'm proud of drinking that water from the well because that's the one that gave me strength. It's when I was growing up. This area out here is called the White Sand area. This area in the past has been an area where families come to camp, go fishing and collect mud shells and pretty much kick back if they want. Clan groups like to travel around country, move around country in season. So you'd find in specific areas around Weepa, whether it's in community or out in those other countries like Watain and Pepin and Tanaquit countries, there's always an area there where there's, there, there was a dugout well you know, that's, that's how, you know, country's blessed, you know, that, that we, can, we can get water anytime we want. And this is where the old people well is. This water was here before I came here, because this well was put here by the old people that was living in this area. Right now, I'm standing in my grandfather's land, and right now I'm talking to you about my grandfather's country. There are many other demonstrations in terms of interaction with water. I've got a special attachment to Cool Pool. As a child, we'd go there and lots of, lots of cultural teachings took place around that swimming hole. And we'd swim in that swimming hole. And I remember I always, even back then, I always felt a really, really special connection to that swimming hole. That well, we looked after everyone else. Never went dry. I'm 66 years of age now and I'm still alright and I'm drinking a lot of water from there.